Hi everybody, my name is Kevin. For those of you who don't know me, I'm here today. I thought I was here to talk about the Browns, but no, I'm here to give a testimony that will hopefully encourage, uplift, and be a help to someone along the way. Uh, recently, I've experienced some, some challenges, some uh, financial challenges. Um, I'm a caregiver, so in this field, uh, it's, it's the, the challenge of it is uh, the clients who pass on or go to rehabilitation centers, things of that nature. So I did have a client who passed and I did have a client to go to a rehabilitation center. It impacted my hours right away. The employer, they treat me like gold and I wanted to have a sense of loyalty to the employer. However, loyalty doesn't pay the bills. So I let that time elapse and within that time frame, my car got repossessed and um, it just sort of made matters worse, so to speak. However, the blessing came in so many ways. People began to pray. The church was of a great assistance. But there's a, um, a person, uh, a lady that I did yard work for many years ago. She just sort of called me out of the blue and she said, Kevin, how, you know, how you doing? And I sort of gave her the backdrop of what was going on. Long story short, she came and uh, gave me a thousand dollars cash and it was just kind of just blew me away because I hadn't talked to her in years but she said specifically and she's a believer that the Lord laid me on her heart and she made her way to my house. Not very long ago uh, Pastor Dan talked about boldly believing I may be saying it the words not quite right but boldly believing that God would do the improbable and I was latching on to that and I didn't know I didn't quite know how it was going to fit uh, my situation, but I prayed and I fasted and I started really focusing on being loyal to Jesus. And uh, I'm convinced that the other part was there was a degree of surrenderance. I told the Lord if it meant because of my uh, lack of proper stewardship, if I had to let that car go, that car had to be gone, and then I would just move forward. And I really felt uh, an uplifting when I say, Lord, I'm giving it all to you. And the blessing is I, I got the car back. It, he, it's, it's, I really can't find words to accurately describe uh, the emotions of it all, but Again, I will challenge anybody to hold on, boldly believe that God will do the improbable because I'm a witness to that. So the encouragement is if you're going through something similarly, pray, lean in, believe what our pastor is telling us because I'm a witness that through that word, it impacted me personally. Stay loyal to Jesus. Hey, it's our hope and our prayer that these videos will encourage you in your faith every single day. If they're doing so, how about you like, you share, you subscribe. Hey, and if you're ever in the Northeast Ohio area, stop by Calvary Assembly of God. Sundays, worship with us. Let's connect with God, His presence, and His people together.